What's up YouTube? Welcome to PhD in Waves. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna tell you guys how I've been maintaining my hair while I've been in Africa. All right, so if you didn't know, I've been in Africa for the past, like coming up on three months. So I have been here for quite a while. I'm currently in Ghana. I'm in West Africa. I've been, I've been here for just about three months. So I have been here for quite a while. So in today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know how I've been maintaining my waves in this hot, Yo, there's mad honking, but I'm gonna tell you guys how I've been maintaining my waves in this super hot weather. Uh, just to give you guys some tips, uh, maybe you guys are in Africa or maybe you're in a place where it's very, very hot. Like I said, I'm in West Africa, I'm in Ghana, and it's been pretty much very hot uh, the whole time that I've been here. So I'm gonna let you guys know what I've been doing to maintain my waves. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I've been doing is I've been wearing my do-rag a lot more than usual. I've been wearing my do-rag maybe 80 or 90% of the time because it's so hot i just want to make sure my hair remains laid down so i have been wearing my do-rag a lot more so throughout the day i've been wearing my do-rag but when it starts to cool down towards the night i do take off my do-rag uh because if i'm going out to like a restaurant or if i'm going to the mall i definitely want to show my waves but the majority of the time i am wearing my do-rag because i am sweating i'm moving around it's hot and I wanna make sure my hair is laid down, so I'm just keeping my do-rag on the majority of the time just to train my hair to remain laid down. So that's the first thing that I've been doing. The second thing I've been doing is I've been keeping my hair moisturized. Since it's very hot and dry, it's easier for your hair to dry out. So I've been keeping special attention to my hair's moisture levels. I've been moisturizing my hair and keeping them moisturized. I've been locking in that moisture with oils and butters but for the most part i'm just keeping my hair moisturized since it's very hot and dry here in africa so let me show you guys what my waves are looking like um i am going to give more tips but i just but i am just going to show you guys what my waves are looking like right now so this is pretty much what my waves are looking like and i just been maintaining my hair in this hot climate so i am going to give you guys a couple more tips that I've been doing to maintain my hair while I'm in Africa. All right, so the next thing I've been doing is I've been keeping my hair at like a medium to low length. I haven't really been wolfing too much. The reason I haven't really been wolfing is because if you're wolfing and you're sweating, it's gonna be very hard to lay your hair down. So I pretty much been keeping my hair at this length. Um, I might grow it out for another one to two weeks, but I haven't really been going on these crazy wolfs because it's so hot, I'm sweating, and when you sweat, your hair is gonna frizz up. But if you keep your hair at lower lengths, it's more manageable, it's more controllable. So if my hair ever frizzes up or if it goes out of place, it's gonna be very easy for me to lay it back down and to keep my hair laid. So I have been keeping my hair at lower lengths. So a typical day here in Africa for my wave uh, routine is in the morning, um, I comb my hair, I comb, 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 and then I pretty much just been using medium brushes to train my hair. Um, and then if my hair is feeling a little bit dry, I moisturize it. And then for the rest of the day, I am just wearing my do-rag. I'm wearing my do-rag for the majority of the day, like I said. So once I do take off my do-rag, uh, my hair has been laid down the whole day. So once I take it off, it's completely laid and it's most likely gonna stay laid because like I said, my do-rag has been on the majority of the day. So it's used to being laid down. The last few things I've been doing to maintain my hair in this hot weather in Africa, in Ghana, is I've been using a soft brush just to lay down any frizz. So if my hair falls out of place, I avoid using like a hard brush because hard brushes just cause more frizz. I just been using like soft brushes just to brush my hair back into place. I've been avoiding using hard brushes because like I just said, hard brushes do make your hair frizzy. So for the most part, I just been using uh, soft brushes. Like what? 
In addition to using a soft brush to keep my hair laid, I have been doing the plastic bag method. If you don't know what the plastic bag method is, it's basically a method to lay down and smooth your pattern down and to get rid of any frizz. Like I said, it's hot here. I'm sweating a lot, but despite me sweating a lot, I still have been able to keep my hair laid because I've been using a soft brush and the plastic bag to smooth down my pattern whenever it gets out of place. So let me just wrap everything up. Uh, so for the most part, I've been wearing my do-rag for the majority of the day. I've been keeping my hair at low manageable lengths. So whenever it falls out of place, it's easy to lay back down. I've also been keeping my hair moisturized because if you're in a hot, dry climate or if it's summertime, you wanna make sure that your hair is moisturized and lastly, I've been using soft brushes and the plastic bag method to lay down my pattern and to keep my pattern laid. Also, I've been doing the wash and style method maybe once, two times max a week, one to two times a week, just to you know wash my waves and to keep my hair laid down and trained. If you guys have any other questions about how I'm maintaining my hair uh, in Africa, make sure to comment them down below. Or if you guys have any other wave questions, make sure to comment them down below. I will get back to you guys. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.